Tonight, Cambridge police are confirming that he was found dead here, the victim of an apparent cardiac arrest. Now, his death is not considered suspicious, but suspicions about several other deaths still hang over him. Fall 1982 and across the country, people were pulling Tylenol off store shelves and from medicine cabinets after seven people in the Chicago area died from taking Tylenol laced with cyanide. There's a lot of weirdos out. Soon, a man named James Lewis was under arrest. Lewis was charged with sending Tylenol's manufacturer, Johnson & Johnson, a letter demanding $1 million to, quote, stop the killing. He spent 12 years in prison for attempted extortion, but was never directly charged with the killings. If the government ever has sufficient evidence or the state ever has sufficient evidence to indict Mr. Lewis for murder, uh, that will be done. Soon after his release from prison in 1995, Lewis moved to this condo building in Cambridge. In 2010, he went on Cambridge Access TV promoting a book about poisonings. I feel for those people uh, every day for the last 28 years. Have you ever? But I have nothing to do with it. In another interview, Lewis used a drawing to describe how someone might poison Tylenol, but never admitted to doing it himself. Yeah, I'm convinced he did it. Roger Nicholson met with Lewis dozens of times while he lived in Cambridge and has been trying to make a documentary that he says will prove what the legal system never could. I feel sorry that the people didn't get justice, that he got away with it. I also like the guy as much as you can like a mass murdering, serial killing rapist. James Lewis lived here with his wife, Leanne, who was apparently out of town the day he died. Live in Cambridge, David Beanick, WCVB News Center 5. David, thank you for that.